Uh, good evening. This is my video log for February 23rd, 2018, and uh, it's the weekend. It's Friday, so I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm going to try and make this one a little bit short just because uh, I want to get my weekend started. Uh, the commute home was super fast. We had some snow. Actually, I'm going to take a moment. You may have heard a weird sound of like crinkling. I have Velcro straps on the cargo pockets on my cargo pants, and I fiddle with those without even thinking about it. And of course, the microphone on this, while not terribly great, picks that sound up just fine. So, uh, but what was it? What was I saying? Um, my commute home was super fast. There was snow again in the middle of the day. I think it's actually stopped already, and. It never accumulated. It never, it fell, but it just sort of like, it didn't even leave a dusting on my car. It must have started 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't leave work till 6. There was no snow on my car. There were like little wet spots on the car. Um, so, oh, my hair. I need to get a haircut this weekend. Uh, so, I got back home in record time. So, uh... I don't have too much to talk about tonight. Nothing super interesting today that I can think of. Uh, but I wanted to talk about something really silly. And this is toy related. Uh, I promise that not every one of these is going to be about toys. I have an entire channel technically for that. If I would just put more videos in it. Um, I'm going to talk about this. Not, not this robot in particular, but what it's doing. It's a very cool pose. This is very, ha ha, there. Go that way, my brethren, we shall win, yeah! What he's doing, he's pointing his sword. Why is this a big deal, okay? Um, when you think about it, if most action figures have an arm, the whole thing is usually molded into one piece, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold things, it, it's going to hold a handle at a right angle to the, the, the length of the arm. Now, some toys have rotation at the wrist. In fact, this one does have rotation, you can see there, yeah, yeah, the wrist is, so he can, he can do like a bicep, like flex, uh, with the big ratchet, uh, muscle beach, uh, or he can, he can, you know, be like, ah, oh, I'm just going to have a cup of coffee, oh, I'm going to have some coffee, but in this case, he's pointing his sword, how is that accomplished, um, with a very clever joint system, and you don't see this in a lot of figures, and it's a real shame, because it lets you do cool things, um, your arm, your human arm can do this. Now you see that? Very cool, huh? You don't think much of it, but it allows you to perform a range of motions that vastly outnumber the range of motions possible by most action figures. I can tell you this with some certainty because I own a lot of action figures. So what this toy can do is that the wrist can angle down like that. See, I've twisted it a little bit, but it can angle down like that, and that allows it to sort of point something in its hand. Why is this a big deal? Well, clearly, swords. Most action figures are action figures because they're designed to perform some sort of combat action. Most action figures are called that because they're dolls. They're not dolls because you, can, you can't dress them up. They're figures. That's why the, that's the main difference between figures and dolls. They're action figures because they're figures designed for action poses, and in most Western countries, and even most countries in Asia, I think, action is equated with combat. And so, things that do combat need weapons, and swords, the world over, are a symbol of close combat weapons that are used by fantasy. They're used by science fiction giant robots to look cool. Um, but most figures that you can buy at the store for 10 or 15 or 20 dollars don't have this range of motion because it's really hard to incorporate in most figures without adding a whole bunch of points of articulation at the wrist, which weakens the wrist. And most figures sold on the cheap in your local Target or Toys R Us or wherever you buy toys uh, need to be durable. They need to be durable for kids because most people collecting toys are not 37-year-old white male adults. They're kids. Um... The rest of us are just kids at heart. So that feature isn't terribly useful 
to a toy for a kid. But it should be, because I, I like posability in toys. I think getting toys for kids that can do a lot of different things is important. When you think about it, people that make toys in this day and age have to compete with tablets. They have to compete with every video game system that comes out, every game that you can get on a personal computer over in the Steam service or any other services offered by other companies. There are tons of very full-featured softwares that you can use to occupy a child's time, but what they really need in their youngest years is something tactile, something that they're holding and touching in their hands, something that will help form what it means to play for the rest of their life so that they have an idea that free time is something that you can spend doing something, not just watching something or playing with something touching something that is just a screen, a flat screen that offers no actual tactile feedback. Um, I, I have a sister who works in uh, teaching, and she laments seeing so many kids go straight to their iPads whenever they're done with school. And there are, there are some very cool games out there. There are some very cool games that actually do encourage a more uh, playing with toys style, like Minecraft comes to mind. Um, Terraria, which is often called this 2D Minecraft. Uh, these are games where y you, you build. You don't just break or destroy or fight. You create. And that's cool, but it's still a digital thing. And I think that real toys that you really touch and hold and feel, and especially toys that, that you can build stuff with, like Legos, obviously, is the big one. But things like transformers and transforming toys where you can take something flittle with it and now it's something else that activates things in a kid's brain and i think it's one of the reasons that transformers has been such a popular toy line for so many years since i was a kid it's something that has endured for over 30 years and it's going to keep enduring because it's fun to play with these things so it's important Maybe not the most important thing in the world. Maybe they're talking about more important things on the news tonight. But I think toys that can wave a magic wand or point a sword or even point a shovel. <laughs> what a notion. An action figure that is a builder. Maybe we'll see that in the next generation. Uh, I'm Eric Spornis. This is my vlog. I'm signing off and tomorrow will be better.